Martin van Heemskerk or Martin Jacobs's Heemskerk van Veen was a Dutch portrait and religious painter, who spent most of his career in Harlem. He was a pupil of Jan van Gaal and adopted his teacher's Italian-influenced style. He spent the years 1532-6 in Italy. He produced many designs for engravers, and is especially known for his depictions of the wonders of the world. Biography Early life Heemskirk was born in the village of Heemskirk, North Holland, halfway between Alkmaar and Harlem. He was the son of a farmer called Jacob Willems. Van Veen. According to his biography by Carol Van Mander, he began his artistic training with the painter Cornelius Willems in Harlem, but was recalled to Heemskirk by his father to work on the family farm. However, having contrived an argument with his father he left again, this time for Delft where he studied under Jan Lucas. Before moving on to Harlem, where he became a pupil of Jan van Gaal, learning to paint in his teacher's innovative Italian-influenced style, Heemskirk then went to lodge at the home of the wealthy curate of the Sint Barvokic, Peter Jan Foppes. They knew each other because Foppes owned land in Heemskirk. The artist painted him in a now-famous family portrait, considered the first of its kind in a long line of Dutch family paintings. His other works for Foppes included two life-size figures symbolizing the sun and the moon on a bedstead, and a picture of Adam and Eve, rather smaller but after living models. His next home was in the house of a goldsmith, Justice Cornelisch, on the edge of Harlem. Before setting off for Italy on a grand tour in 1532, Heemskirk painted a scene of Saint Luke painting the Virgin for the altar of Saint Luke in the Barvokic. An inscription, incorporated into a trompe-lay label on the painting begins, this picture is a remembrance from its painter, Martin Heemskirk. He has here dedicated his labors to St. Luke as a proof of regard to his associates in his profession, of which that saint is patron. Italy he traveled around the whole of northern and central Italy, stopping at Rome where he had letters of introduction from Van School to the influential Dutch Cardinal William of Enkenvoort. It is evident of the facility with which he acquired the rapid execution of a scene painter that he was selected to collaborate with Antonio da Sangallo the Younger, Batista Franco and Francesco da Rossi on the redecoration of the Porta San Sebastiano at Rome as a triumphal arch in honor of Charles V. Georgia Vasari, who saw the battle pieces which Heemskirk then produced, said they were well composed and boldly executed. While in Rome where he made numerous drawings of classical sculpture and architecture, many of which survive in two sketchbooks now in the Kupferstich cabinet Berlin. He was to use them as source material throughout the rest of his career. Later career on his return to the Netherlands in 1536, he settled back at Harlem, where he became president of the Harlem Guild of St. Luke, married twice, and secured a large and lucrative practice. The alteration in his style, brought about by his experience of Italy was not universally admired. According to Van Mander, in the opinion of some of the best judges he had not improved it, except in one particular, that his outline was more graceful than before. He painted large altarpieces for his friend, the Archmesiners and later martyr of the Protestant Reformation, Cornelis Mies. Mies had returned from a period in France to the Netherlands in 1538 and became prior of the Saint Agatha Cloister in Delft. This lucrative and high-profile work in Delft turned Eemskirk a commission for an altarpiece in the newer Kirk for their Guild of Saint Luke. In 1553 he became curate of the Sint Barvokic, where he served for 22 years. In 1572 he left Harlem for Amsterdam, to avoid the siege of Harlem which the Spaniards laid to the place. Engravings He was one of the first Netherlandish artists to make drawings specifically for reproduction by commercial printmakers. He employed a technique incorporating cross-hatching and stippling, intended to aid the engraver. Wonders of the World Heemskirk produced designs for a set of engravings, showing eight, rather than the usual seven wonders of the ancient world. 
His addition to the conventional list was the Colosseum in Rome, which, unlike the others, he showed in ruins, as it was in his own time. With the speculative addition of a giant statue of Jupiter in the center, they were engraved by Philip Gaul and published in 1572. Colossus of Rhodes, imagined in a 16th-century engraving by Martin Heemskirk, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, said to be the oldest known Omega reconstruction from historical descriptions. The Temple of Artemis has the old-fashioned look of Santa Maria Novella in Florence and other Italian Quattrocento churches of the Mannerist generation. A fanciful reconstruction of Fadia's statue of Zeus, engraving by Philip Gaul in 1572, from a drawing by Heemskirk. A fanciful 16th-century interpretation of the Pharos, or Lighthouse of Alexandria, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Fanciful interpretation of the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, 1572. He painted his self-portrait with the Colosseum. Paintings. Many works by Van Heemskirk survive. Adam and Eve and Saint. Luke painting the likeness of the Virgin and Child in presence of a poet crowned with ivy leaves and a parrot in a cage, an altarpiece in the Gallery of Harlem, and the Eke Homo in the Museum of Fine Arts in Ghent, are characteristic works of the period preceding Van Heemskirk's visit to Italy. An altarpiece executed for St. Lawrence of Alkmaar in 1538-1541, composed of at least a dozen large panels, which including portraits of historical figures, preserved in Linköping Cathedral, Sweden since the Reformation, shows his style after his return from Italy. He painted a crucifixion for the riches Clares at Ghent in 1543, and an altarpiece for the Draper's Company at Harlem, finished in 1546 and now in the Gallery of the Hague. They show how Heemskirk studied and repeated the forms which he had seen in the works of Michelangelo and Raphael at Rome, and in the frescoes of Andrea Mantegna and Giulio Romano in Lombardy but he never forgot his Dutch origin or the models first presented to him by school and Jan Mabuse. As late as 1551 he produced a copy from Raphael's Madonna of Loretto. In 1552, he painted a view of a bull race inside the Colosseum of Rome. A Judgment of Momus, dated 1561, in the Gemmelde Gallery, Berlin, shows that he was well acquainted with anatomy and fond of florid architecture. Two altarpieces which he finished for churches at Delft in 1551 and 1559, one complete, the other a fragment, in the Museum of Harlem, a third of 1551 in the Brussels Museum, representing Golgotha, the crucifixion, the flight into Egypt, Christ on the Mount, and scenes from the lives of Saint Bernard and Saint Benedict, are all fairly representative of his style. There is a crucifixion in the Hermitage Museum of St. Petersburg, and two triumphs of Silenus in the Gallery of Vienna. Parrots in his depiction of St. Luke painting the Virgin, which Heemskirk painted twice for two painters' guilds. There is some confusion in the literature about a parrot. In both paintings he painted a parrot, but the parrot in a cage has been sawn off the first painting and is no longer visible. Death. In Amsterdam he made a will, which has been preserved. It shows that he had lived long enough and prosperously enough to make a fortune. At his death, he left money and land in trust to the orphanage of Harlem, with interest to be paid yearly to any couple who should be willing to perform the marriage ceremony on the slab of his tomb in the Cathedral of Harlem. It was a superstition in Catholic Holland that a marriage so celebrated would secure the peace of the dead within the tomb. Reputation Heemskirk was widely respected in his own lifetime and was a strong influence on the painters of Harlem in particular. He is known for his introduction of Italian art to the Northern Netherlands, especially for his series on the wonders of the world, that were subsequently spread as prints. Carol Vainmander devoted six pages to his biography in his Schilderboek, Public Collections, Museum Boymonts van Boningen, Rotterdam, Rijksmuseum Amsterdam.